Hey there, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nat Milligan, a conversion copywriter and brand and launch strategist. I've been in a very fortunate position. After working with clients from different industries from the world of health and fitness, fashion, art, media, finance and business, I've had an up close view of the common mistakes business owners make when hiring a copywriter. Many bad experiences with copywriters can be avoided if business owners factor in these three things before they invest their time, energy and money in copywriting services. Let's dive straight in. Number one, the copywriter. Consider the copywriter's skills, personality, experience, specialism and ability to execute on their promises. There are many other factors to consider as well, such as copywriting style, project fees, possibly their location, language, etc. You'll want to make sure you are the right fit. Don't be misled into thinking more years means better copywriting. It should, but that's not always the case. A new copywriter full of energy, copywriting skills under their belt and a willingness to receive productive feedback might be better than a copywriter with 10 years under their belt who's stuck in their ways and unwilling to try the latest tools and tech. Trust your gut when booking a copywriter for your business. Number two, the project. Clarify the project. Get into the weeds of the existing challenges you currently face and explore possible solutions and potential outcomes. Ask yourself why you need a copywriter for this project. Remember, the best copywriters are strategic thinkers. They do more than simply write words that sound good. If you are stuck working out what motivates your customers to buy, then a brand voice or UX copywriter could be the perfect fit. If you're launching a new website, product or service, then a conversion or specialist copywriter with an understanding of launch funnel assets and email sequences, SEO, social media and direct response copywriting skills might marry up well with your needs and objectives. Ensure the project and the copywriter are, as I said before, the right fit. Number three, the time frame. Contrary to our fast food, fast fashion microwave dinner culture, very few of the successful copywriters I know subscribe to fast copy ideals. I personally choose to invest time to research, learn, discover and deep dive into the fabrics and company culture of the brands and people I work with. If we were talking about relationships here, great copywriting is about the wine and dine experience. It's the opportunity to be romantic and enter into a courtship towards romance and long lasting love. It's not a wham bam, thank you ma'am, with a quick fumble between the sheets. If you're an entrepreneur or business owner looking to book a copywriter, try to devote enough time to the project. Don't rush the process. Instead, allow yourself and the copywriter time to create from a place of space and abundance. In my experience, and I've been in situations where I've been rushed and I've been allowed sufficient time, the difference between the two outcomes has been profound. If I were in the shoes of an entrepreneur or business owner on the hunt for an excellent copywriter, I'd avoid a jack of all trades copywriter. I'd look for a specialist copywriter. Specialism might look a little bit like this. Discipline. This relates to the type of copywriting they deliver. This post breaks down the most popular and in-demand copywriting styles on the market right now. This is why having a clear understanding of the project is so important. You want to clarify the different copywriting disciplines required to achieve your goals and choose a copywriter who specializes in these skills. This will help minimize the chance of you being dissatisfied with the copy work produced. Okay, number two, division. 
This relates to the industry, sector or niche. Consider relationships, health and wellness, entertainment, business, finance, sport, tech, fashion, parenting, sustainability, etc. Some copywriters have a passion for a specific industry, sector or niche and have a wealth of knowledge in their chosen field of interest. Their passion and knowledge put them at an advantage over a jack-of-all-trades copywriter who has general knowledge about most things. Jack-of-all-trades copywriters may need to carry out extensive research beforehand to come up to speed on a new industry sector or niche. There's nothing wrong with this, but I've found choosing a copywriter with shared interests as you, who has a passion for the products and services you offer because they're passionate about the space you operate in, can be of massive value. This fact, along with a match in your personalities, a fondness for their copywriting style signature and a synergy between you both, communication-wise that is, can minimise friction and reduce the chances of dissatisfaction in the end. And thirdly, demographic. Some copywriters choose to specialise in a specific target audience, dealing with a specific problem that their copywriting services solve. I know of a copywriter who specialises in writing email marketing campaigns for six-figure female entrepreneurs. Now, this is highly specific and her services are tailored for her target audience. This might be an important factor for you to consider when searching for the right copywriter. If you're watching this and you're a business owner or entrepreneur, then just bear in mind the things I've shared in this video so that you can partner up with the copywriter who's best for you and your business. If you like this video and have any questions for me, leave them in the comments below. Till next time.